So, you want to be an electrician. That is great. Professional trades are a phenomenal option for a career path, and electrical work is some of the most important field work that one can get into. So to help us out with this, we first need to establish which tools precisely are required when enrolled in an apprenticeship program. Thankfully, we have the Electrical Trade Center of Central Ohio just to hop, skip, and a jump away, and with their assistance, we've come up with this list of the tools that you'll need to start your electrical training career, or just to do some basic electrical work around the house. First up, we're going to need a number two Phillips head screwdriver. This is going to be one of the larger headed screwdrivers, and there are a couple of options to go with here. Based on the list given to us by our friends over at the ETC, most of everything will include a Klein option, and based on our audience, and also what we've got down in the showroom and in our warehouse, most of everything will also include a Milwaukee option. So, you apprentices will be looking at the Klein 603-4, which you can find at the link in the description below. The cushion grip allows for a greater amount of torque as well as an extra level of comfort during use, and the precision machine tip allows for a more accurate fit with a lot less slippage. If you're not big into Klein or you're just a diehard Team Red fan, Milwaukee have got a second option should you so choose. The 4822-2812 features a similar cushion grip on the screwdriver itself, allowing for that extra layer of protection as well as added torque, along with a unique precision knurling to boost efficiency and effectiveness on the job. So for those of you that prefer to you have your tools made here in America, Milwaukee have also got a line coming out in the near future that we'll get into a few times in this list. The MT202 will be the one that you want to keep an eye out for in this category, and you can bet your sweet bucket that we'll have a lot more information coming on this line as soon as it becomes available, so tap or click that little bell icon down there to be notified when we post new videos to stay in the loop on that. You apprentices will also need a couple of cabinet point screwdrivers in both 4 and 6 inch lengths. Cabinet point screwdrivers are much narrower than traditional flathead screwdrivers, allowing for greater access in harder to reach areas like those tiny little electrical boxes or outlets or panels or that kind of thing. Klein's offerings will be the 605-4 and 601-6 for the 4 inch and 6 inch respectively. They each come with that same cushion grip found on the Phillips head driver for the added torque and extra level of comfort during use, and the two different size shanks provide cover for all types of fasteners that you'll need to get access to. Milwaukee actually provide us with a couple of options. The 4822-2821 and 4822-2832 will be your traditional Milwaukee screwdrivers, again with the same cushion grip and that unique precision knurling found on the earlier entry to get that added effectiveness and efficiency on the job site, and they're also going to be putting out the MT-206 and MT-212 from their American-made line here in the near future. You apprentices are also going to need to pick up a set of nut drivers. Homeowners and DIYers, it might be a good idea to have one or two of these on hand if you find yourself working with nuts and bolts often, but I wouldn't say it's entirely required. Klein has a set of six under part number 635-6, which feature hollow shafts capable of torquing hex nuts onto threaded bolts of any length. Each nut driver includes rare earth magnets in the tip to ensure a solid hold on the hex nuts, and each driver is color-coded for a variety of sizes from 9 16 of an inch to a quarter inch. Milwaukee have included an additional nut driver in their 4822-2507 set for a total of seven nut drivers, which include universal driver heads to fit a wide variety of fasteners, including square, hex, 12-point, and spline. They also feature the color coding and magnetic tips found on Klein's model for easier identification and a more solid hold on each hex nut, and the chrome plating provides excellent rust protection, extending the life of each driver. Okay, so we've got all our screwdrivers out of the way, so let's move on to the five different pairs of pliers that you apprentices are going to need to pick up. Homeowners and DIYers, you guys should also probably have at least a couple pairs of pliers on hand. We'll start with the basics. You'll need a pair of 10 inch and 12 inch pliers for your most average applications, and Klein's options will be the D502-10 and D502-12 respectively. Each of these pairs of pliers come with a quick adjust rivet for simple one-handed adjustments, and the secure tongue and groove design allow for powerful, non-slip grip, even when intense pressure is applied. The induction hardened jaws provide a longer life than most of your other pump pliers, so you'll be able to keep these around for much longer than your average pair. Not to be outdone, however, Milwaukee's offerings, the 4822-6310 and 4822-6312, feature a coating designed to keep the rust away from the tool for as long as possible, extending the life of the jaws, as well as a comfortable grip that is designed specifically not to peel away if it comes into contact with a large amount of pressure. Perfect for punching knockouts or reaming pipe, Milwaukee straight jaw wrenches will be the best bet for any Team Red fan. Up next, you'll want to grab a pair of 9-inch side cut pliers or crimping pliers. 
These are the pliers that will include a cutter for wires and other such things. Klein's got the D2314-9E-CR with a sleek streamlined design made with a unique handle tempering to help absorb that snap you get when you cut through wires. The precision hardened head provides an extra layer of toughness on the job site, and the induction hardened blades allow for an extended life on the pliers. Milwaukee's version, the 4822-6100, are made with a rust resistant material and include a comfortable pair on the grips that won't bite into your hands or slip during use. The onboard crimper can also act as a fish tape puller if you find yourself in need of that, which gives you the added functionality when you're working with both insulated and non-insulated terminals. So our next pair of pliers will be an 8-inch pair of long nose pliers to give you a bit of extended reach in those harder to access areas. Klein's D203-8 feature a heavier design than your average pair of long nose pliers, which lead to a greater cutting power on the job site. And the extended length handle provides for an even greater reach and additional leverage, as well as those same induction hardened blades found on the side cut pliers. Milwaukee includes the same fish tape puller on their 4822-6501 long nose pliers that we found on the side cut pliers, and the 2 inch gripping nose is perfect for getting further back in those tiny hard to reach areas. The MT505 will be their American made offering when that line becomes available probably towards mid 2023. Okay, we're down to our final pair of pliers, which will be an 8 inch pair of diagonal cut pliers. The angled head on these guys make them perfect for working in more confined spaces where you don't necessarily need as much reach as you do power. Klein's D248-8 pair of pliers are made with high leverage handles, which provide up to 36% more cutting power than a regular pair of diagonal cutters, with a hot riveted joint and non-slip handles to ensure maximum power on the job site. Milwaukee will have their MT508 pair of pliers later on this year, but for now we can take a look at the 4822-6528 to get an idea of what they'll be like. These guys are made with that same rust protected material to ensure a long life, and the comfortable handle ensures all day use without any significant damage to your hand. Alright, we're getting to have a fair amount of tools now and I feel like we may need something to store them in because we actually still have a fair few to go. Back in the day, the primary method of transporting tools to, from, and around the job site was with your handy dandy tool belt. The foreman used a belt, the crewmen and women used a belt, hell even Batman used a belt. But if you take a look around a lot of job sites these days, and especially in the trade centers across the country, the hot new thing is backpacks. They're everywhere. But can you use your regular Land's End or LL Bean backpack that you had back in high school with your name initialed on the top there? What really makes the difference between a job site backpack and a regular one? Well, a lot of them like Klein's offering here are built with the specific pockets for things like safety glasses, screwdrivers, and larger tools. You're also getting a total of 39 pockets for tool storage, giving you the ultimate solution for customization and storage. Its orange interior contrasts perfectly with a lot of colors, giving you perfect tool visibility when you're on the job site, and the bottom is built with fully molded plastic to protect against the job site elements like dirt, water, and debris. Milwaukee's backpack 4822-8201 is quite similar. The hard molded bottom is rated five times better than any of the competition, so you can be sure that any elements are staying away from your belongings when you're on the job site. And the 1680D ballistic material and rugged metal zippers provide increased durability when you're on the go. You're getting a total of 48 pockets on this bad boy, including these two hard shell pockets that are designed specifically to protect your electronics and other essential devices from impacts from drops, falls, or spills. So we really only need a few more things to fill out the rest of our backpack here. A level would probably be a great idea to make sure that everything's set straight and proper and nothing's slanted. A torpedo level would be the perfect size to fit the backpack here. And with an overall length of 8 inches, Klein's 935RB is still large enough to provide plenty of information at a glance at four different angles. Pure level, 90 degrees, 45 degrees, and 30 degrees. Its bright orange body is perfect for contrast against the conduit on a job site, and Klein's patented magnet track prevents its rare earth magnets from falling out, giving you peace of mind while you're on the job. Milwaukee's version boasts amplified rare earth magnets for up to two times the holding power of their competition, and its maximized viewing area is perfect for identifying the pitch of your piece in eighth inch or quarter inch per foot options. The aluminum frame is toughened to stand up to even the toughest of job site conditions, so you don't have to worry about falls, drops, or spills with this guy. A utility knife will come in handy in a variety of situations. You don't need anything fancy out here doing knife tricks and whatnot, but a good sturdy knife will go a long way. Klein's 44131, shout out Independence Ohio, what up? 
Hey, let me know if that Winking Lizard near that Bob Evans is still open down in the comments below. Anyway, their 44131 utility knife is compatible with any standard utility blade, giving you the versatility and freedom not to have to stick with one brand, as well as a solid aluminum handle to assist with power and leverage during use. Milwaukee's 4822-1502 features a similar press-to-open design, comfortable grip, and quick tool-free blade changes to get you back to work all the quicker. Weighing less than a pound, this knife is a perfect addition to any tool kit, even for homeowners who just want a nice new utility knife. Another area where apprentices and DIYers can differ is with the magnetic tape measure. For the most part, you guys at home can stick with your regular run-of-the-mill tape measure to get the job done, but a lot of the time you apprentices are going to be working in situations where magnetic tape measures just make more sense. The Electrical Trade Center requires a 25-foot magnetic tape measure and have included the Klein part number 9225 on their list. The durable nylon coating ensures a tight grip while in use and easy-to-read markings every eighth of an inch provide quick and accurate measurements. The powerful magnet in the hook is able to latch onto a variety of ferromagnetic materials, and the double hook on the blade ensures a tight grip on studs, conduits, and other objects. It also includes dual-sided printing, ensuring you get a reading no matter what angle you need to put yourself at to get that reading. The anti-tear coating on the first six inches of Milwaukee's 4822-0325 provide a strong reinforcement on the blade to prevent any potential tearing, and a comfortable finger stop protects your fingers during the blade's retraction. It also features double-sided printing like Klein's model to ensure an accurate reading at any angle, and a similar magnet in the hook to ensure a strong hold on ferromagnetic materials and objects. Another important thing that you apprentices will need that homeowners and DIYers might also want to grab if you're doing a lot of electrical work at home is an electrician's hammer. Now I know what you're thinking, is there really a difference between that hammer I've got out in the garage and a hammer specifically for electricians? And the answer is yes! Electrician's hammers like Klein's 807-18 are designed with a longer neck than traditional hammers, and include a more narrow striking face in order to access those harder to reach areas in outlet boxes and other tight spaces, as well as a fiberglass shaft and rubber grip to protect from electrical surges. A pair of wire strippers will go a long way and are a good thing to own whether you're an apprentice electrician or a homeowner looking to do some work around the house. Klein's K11095s include six different holes for stripping wires, as well as a shear cutting knife to handle that tougher 8-10 to AW solid or 10 to 20 AWG stranded wire, as well as shearing holes for number 6 and number 8 bolts. The narrow head allows for greater access in harder to reach areas, and the curved comfort handle provides extended coverage and additional comfort throughout the day. The curved cutting blade on Milwaukee's 4822-6109 is perfect for cutting through larger, tougher wires, and the ergonomic grip is perfect for all day use. You'll also get the bolt cutter threads for number 6 and number 8 bolts, and the lightweight design is perfect for one-handed use, increasing its versatility on the job site. The head is coated in a rust protection that extends the life of the tool by preventing corrosion, and the simple one-handed swing lock ensures the tool stays locked in your bag. Last but certainly not least, we're going to need a voltage detector. Perhaps one of the most important pieces in our backpack, voltage detectors will tell us whether the wires that we're going to be working on will contain live electricity, and if so, how much? Klein's NCVT2P is a non-contact detector that can find a range of 12 to 1,000 volts AC in a wide variety of applications, including cables, cords, circuit breakers, switches, outlets, and more, and can also detect AC voltage in doorbells, thermostats, low-level lighting, and irrigation systems. Simultaneous audio and visual cues provide identification of voltage, while a green light indicates the lack of electricity within the piece that you're going to be working on. With an auto-off feature to conserve battery power and an IP54 rating for dust, debris, and water, Klein's voltage detector is the perfect addition for any tool bag. Milwaukee's 2202-20 features a similar indication feature to Klein's model, with an audible warning if live voltage is detected. The rear button power is simple to use, and a pocket clip ensures easy access and quick retrieval when needed. The two AAA batteries that power Milwaukee's voltage detector are simple to replace, and the Category 4 1000 volt rating provides a measure of safety in a variety of applications. And with that, our backpack is complete! These are all of the tools that you'll need to start your career as an electrician, and much more than you'll need to do some basic electric work around the house. Trade schools like the Electrical Trade Center of Central Ohio are the perfect place to begin your quest for knowledge and an apprenticeship if you plan on doing this stuff professionally. And you can be sure to find everything you'll need throughout your career at your favorite online tool dealer, which of course is Ohio Power Tool. If you guys have any questions about that video, feel free to leave us a comment, send us a letter, give us a call, write us an email, or send a messenger pigeon if you feel the need. Reach out any way that you can and we'll be sure to answer your questions. Ah. If you guys like that video, feel free to click over here to watch some more of our other ones. Be sure to subscribe to our channel as well so you can get all of our latest videos as soon as they come out. Get back to work!